All right, I don't know what this stuff is, what it does, but I'm gonna be playing with it now. There's a whole field of it. It's almost like a farmer purposely planted it. I've never seen it before. Uh, um, it's very red. It's very different. I expect it to be safe, but who knows? All right, I'm eating honey, which tends to get me fat. Honey and bread, it's an excellent combination. And I only eat the honey when it's hard. Like, this is some hard honey. Because the cold makes it hard. I don't ever want to have honey when it's runny. No runny honey. But this hard stuff, that means it's cold out. And I'm using more energy to keep warm, so it's not going to get me quite as fat as fast. But honey in the summertime when it's runny, no good. All right, once again, I really hope this grass is safe. I mean, they hay bale it, and usually when they bale hay with this, with any grass, it's if it's safe for the livestock, it's safe for me. One thing that's a concern, though, is that there's this fuzzy... There's a, some kind of fuzzy thing. I don't think it should be too big of a concern. I'll just have to filter that in my French press. Yeah, I hope this stuff is good. What is hay for cows is tea for Travis. You know, I take for granted that chives grow around here right now. Uh, there was no mention of chives specifically. Uh, at that fort up north, just up north, but uh, the soldiers were dying of like scurvy, and then they they said by the springtime, they were saved by a wild onion. This is like a wild onion, chives. But I don't know if uh, if the chives. Specifically, chives were growing uh, during the 1860s, 1850s. Were they? It's hard. How do you how do you measure that? Maybe they were, and the soldiers didn't know. No, either it was a matter of the soldiers didn't know, because uh, it's December and these things are growing great. It's frosted out, but they don't look phased by frost, and people are mowing them down. It's the greenest part of the lawn out here. The patches of green but were the soldiers saved by chives because chives are i'm gonna pick the green tops maybe they didn't know they could eat the green tops i don't know but they were dying of of a nutritional deficiency and i wonder if it could have been a lack of knowledge or if chives never reached and it was actually some kind of wild onion chives are so oddly rubbery they stretch before they break there's just a slight stretch I feel. It may not show. <laughs> but they, they do break at the top. They don't you don't pull them out by the roots. They'll break, but they stretch a little bit before they break. It's kind of weird. So the back hole has to be So it's it's not just a matter of taking that rod off. You also got to take the the back hole off. Well, you can't. You'd have to drill that out. Which yeah. is hard steel. You're not going to be able to drill that. That out. would be a difficult. So, um would you be interested in it? I, I mean, I don't I want mean, it. I, so, it's either going in the trash or Oh, I guess I'll And then you'll pay I'll pay for your $5 yeah, service. Take I got one at some I got a, but yeah. Yeah. I got to get one of those tools that you got. Yeah, and it's just it's pretty it's supposed to be pretty easy, but I just well it's yeah the, no you you need two different tools. This is not a free wheel. You know, I'll, Ethan, yeah, bring it over. So you will need. To oh, bring I got that tool. I got that tool. Okay. <laughs> but uh, you know, I got this little thing. And okay, you it, will but... need to bring this back to have me tighten. Oh, I, I oh, then maybe I thought. Oh. Well, this is not, I, I thought you had a free wheel. Yeah, this is yeah. a hyperglide lock ring, which oh, okay. requires a tool to tighten. And okay, it doesn't tighten yeah. your pedal. All right, just make a note that that new, that new grass I just drank about a half of a cup. It's a dark brown. I don't. I guess I could try to show it. Um. Yeah. I could pour it into here, just a little bit. Check this out. This is the the liquid. Okay. 
that's what this little grass it looks a reddish boil it and you get this brownish tea color something's in it is it safe I gotta give it some time to see what it does to me all right so I'm in the south part of Pittsburgh Kansas there's a Walmart neighborhood market not too far I think they have that neighborhood market because there's college and one of the rare times I can park right next to a basketball hoop and and I used to have a basketball but it's just so rare that I come across easy access to basketball hoops I gave up on the notion it's kind of too bad I would I would love to shoot some hoops right now but I just it's just for the size of my car and the root and just that space it takes up and the, the lack of uh, chances to play I just stopped carrying the ball even even deflated I deflated it for a for a period of time too just to save space instead of having a fully inflated and even then I was like uh, it's too rare but here's one of them rare opportunities I wonder about this bamboo Check out this, this crooked. I don't know too much about bamboo. I need to learn if it could be used as tea or not. So I'm pretty successful with finding grass to fill up my teapots. I'll be able to fill up at least two. There's good grass over here and it's water source. This grass is so odd. It likes. It seems like it's a like an aloe plant or whatever. It's so similar to the desert aloe plant with all the brown around it. It's green. It might have a long tap root. It's just so similar. But this this is a this is just a grass, and you can boil it. Hey, what's up? Hey, who's in here? Who? What do you mean? What's what's? 
Yeah, I didn't. I don't know who's in here. Okay, see my hands? I'm good. Okay. What's going on? Why, what? Are you, what are you doing? I'm just are you sitting here. What? Are you sitting here? No. Okay. Do you have any ID? What do you need an ID for? What's the problem? Well, this is, this is university property. This is university police. Oh, I didn't see any signs that said that I was getting into like an area that I wasn't supposed to. Well, do you find is, it a little bit suspicious? I mean, you're just yeah. Crazy. With you, with you approaching me and like acting like well, yeah, with your I hand, have to approach you. I with, don't know. People with your have hand on your cars here. With people have with your hand with your okay with your hand on your gun. I'm like well, you know look, you're, look at your you're ready. You're ready. I, to, I can't see anything. You're ready for a fight. You're ready to what shoot. Fight. I'm just saying I can't see yeah. nothing. The car's suspicious. All right, you see my hands. Okay. Do you have any okay. ID? Well, what do you need an ID for? What's the crime? Again, this is university property. <laughs> So every everybody is a criminal on the university property. Is okay, that sir, it? Okay, so do you have any ID? Well, this tell is me. This a legitimate car stop okay. right now. You are trespassing. Okay, so am I being am I being detained? You're trespassing. Okay, am I being do detained for a crime? You have any ID on you to find out who you are? Is have there, you killed anybody is there, recently? Have you? How do I know that? <laughs> How do I know it? How do I know that? Patrolman. Do I have any ID? What's the crime? Okay, let's you get let's establish. Okay, you are not a student. There was was there a call? Was I was there a complainant that said that no. they want me let want but me to leave this property? I didn't say I want to leave. I need to know who the, you are. Yeah, you say I'm committing a crime, and that okay, by and right. the crime so is you called need to trust. Leave or I'm going to trespass you. You need to leave then. Go ahead and take everything you need to leave. What's the crime? What? Are you I don't, a student here, sir? Well, I don't understand. Where where the? Are you a student here, sir? You're not giving me ID. I don't know who you are. What do you do? You arrest parents for coming here? Do they have the students here? Do they need students? Yeah, do you, you can't just have. What about people who aren't students who come here and and visit? Look, What's the problem? Have ID. I don't understand. I drove in here and I didn't see any signage saying okay. that I can't be Can here. You not see that there's no university. I'll say that I saw. No, I can't. Where's the okay, university? Right here, we got the baseball field I saw, right here. Okay, I saw, university. there's no parking signs on the side of the road. Okay, okay that's clear. I don't right. park there. This this looks like a parking spot. I mean, okay, so there's no signs. Right, okay. I see the field is closed. Okay, you see good. those signs, right? So I'm following, I'm following I'm what the information I'm provided. So I'm following, excuse me, I'm following what, excuse me, I'm following what information I'm provided as a visitor here. Okay, okay and what I see, pass? what I see, where does it visitor? say, where does it say I'm on sorry, any signs that say, if you are ID, a visitor, you are required to show a visitor right pass now. when you enter the property. Where okay, does it say that? that? It doesn't, there's, I'm there's, asking you. tell me where, I'm asking you, where, where does this property end and begin I'm then? I'm asking you to leave, <laughs> sir. All right, you can ask as much as you want. Okay. But so what's the problem? Not, Who's the complaint? You're failing to give me ID. You're failing to and explain not, where the boundaries are and where you're, where you're supposed to... This is university <laughs> property. I'm telling you right now. This where, is university property. This is the... Where is the boundary? Basement. No, I'm asking where the boundary is. You're saying generally it starts at the road. This road. All right. All the way down to... Okay. Let's, let's make this an educational session because I guess I'm here to learn now. And this is okay. a university. You are a part of it. You're a part of the educational process. Right, right. You got four so this... Here. You got so at Pitt State University, Pitt State we University. got, right here. I, I somehow, I, I'm now turned into somebody who's a trespasser coming on as a visitor, looking, looking, you know, hanging out, yeah. well, checking you out. Tell me who you are, I, dude, then, then that's It fine. doesn't matter what crime, but you say the crime is trespassing, fine. Okay. All right, I can leave, but I'm just a little insulted having come here as a visitor, not, you know, seeing that there's no How signs. You insulted? You're insulting me by, I came by kicking to find me off. Out who you were? You have You're... blacked out windows. You're yeah, the sun. Here. How the hell? The, the sun. Am I supposed to know? <laughs> the sun is is bright, and I like to okay, take a little so, okay, break from fine. the sun. So you say, "Hey, I'm <clears throat> taking a break from the sun. Can yeah. I see some ID? You show me ID. You're so and so. Hey, you fine. Thank you very much. Please have a nice day and try All to, right. you know, don't do this, this, and that. <laughs> but if you can't give me any identification and you're nope. on school property. Then you need to leave. All right. Well, I'm just saying it's insulting that I didn't know. You know that it looked like it looked like it's like public a public uh, park in some way. But okay. so I mean, can, then if I could tell you right now this is school property. So if you'd like, go ahead and go, and you can go park. Go to Walmart if you'd like. Go park. All right. In there.
All right, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take off, I guess, but I mean, okay. it's just, it's crazy. Uh, just coming out here, I, I saw you pass before and you had no problem with me. Yeah, was that you? Were you here that, that no, drove it was through by? officer. Okay, he, they didn't report to you. Here. He asked about me? Yes. All right, I that said, was I don't it. Know. Is, there, is there anybody? Is he a student? Nobody knew. So I came here and asked. Are that you was, no, I'm talking like two hours ago, there was somebody who drove by. Well, here it is. No, no, it was no problem. This is me. Now suddenly it turns into a problem. It's a problem because you're not because giving me ID. Because, are you like, are you, you like are. the supervisor, Be Bev, Belleville Lacroix, B-E-V-I-L-A-C-Q-A-A, okay. You, are you the supervisor? You are. Are, you, are you like in charge of like no, the I'm force, the university force? I am here for university. You're just a regular patrol, okay. Yeah. All right, just pushing visitors around. That's what I'm doing. Usually All right. Visitors are more cooperative if you don't want to be one. Cooperative? Yeah. I'm just visiting. I mean. Yes, you're visiting the university. You, you mean, you I'm mean. I'm university police. You're visiting <laughs> university. So what do you want me to tell you? Are you homeless? You, you mean, you Let mean me not, you not so much. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. we got a third. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'm just going to take this. I also have a, a net on this side. I'm going to pull off. Oh, the other universe. Is that your supervisor? No. Bella Quava? Was Maybe that's the one who passed by earlier. Is this, what's, your, what's your day shift hours? What's your day shift hours? Six to six? Did you, did you pass by here before and see my car? You got the same truck. Maybe. All right. Did you shift change? Was there a shift change? Hey, if you're not going to provide ID, then I'm going to have to ask you to leave. So please. All right. I'll exchange IDs with you. Would you Would you like to hand me your ID and then I'll hand you mine? You already see my, who I am. No, you're, no, I need a picture ID, a plastic that shows like your information in writing along, you know, a picture and then the information next to it. Okay. So State ID. Okay. Go ahead and just go Okay. Ahead. All right. May I have your name? Clary or Mick Clary? Okay. All right. And they just, I got to arrange things a little bit. I was busy sewing. Yeah, yeah. I got to arrange things a little bit and then I'll, I'll be ready. So, I, so it's going to take me a couple of minutes to arrange things. So before you take off, just want to say, you do have a valid driver's license? Yes. You sure? Let me just. You, I guess you're gonna watch me, so I'll keep the door open. Is it the stuff that was on the windows that makes a difference? Why you had to stop and harass me like this? This, this wasn't harassment if you would have gave me ID. This, this is absolutely because there was another patrol who came by before, had no problems. Well, you see the difference. I mean, you see the. Yeah, I'm the owner of the car.
Okay. I'm just going to establish uh, where Walmart is. Right down there on Rouse and Centennial. Well, I just, I just want to make sure I get my turns right. Okay, all right. Yeah, I think I got it.
So the scientist may say that some grasses have low nutrition, but I still hear nutrition. Low nutritional value, but you did say nutritional. I think I'm gonna get, uh, I think they're gonna stop at me. But, yeah, I'm just, just sitting out here, you see, just sitting out here, yeah. okay, is it okay? Yeah, I just, we don't normally have a car down here, my man. Yeah, you don't normally have drivers, I, I see that. Yeah, this it's road a is nice, very non-traveled. Yeah, it's a nice quiet road to sit. Yeah. Hear the coyotes? You ever hear the coyotes out here? Yeah. Train right there. There's a uh, some uh, fire fire department. They you know they took fire off station right there. and they they prompted those coyotes to. What brings you all the way from Washington? Just traveling. Where you heading to? South. Just south. Yeah, general yeah. south. Not in a rush though. It doesn't look like it's getting too cold around here. So. You okay though? Yeah, I have all no right. complaint. Oh, you're doing a little community policing there. Hey, man. All right. Out, right? Yeah, okay, all right. So, so wanted, uh, it's not normal for a car to be parked here, so yeah, I'm just over here for the night and then I'm off taking off tomorrow in the, in the morning if that's okay, or, or I'm just you know, I'll take off and just when I you know, after a little rest after listening to the coyotes and stuff, but I'm, I mean, Are you yeah, from Washington? well, yeah, I spent some time there, I got a home base there, right on, so yeah, I just uh. Just hanging out here. I mean, I came from the north. You know, I said I'm coming going south. And came from the north. Definitely have that northern accent there. Oh uh, yeah, it's not. Yeah, I, I definitely you know notice I'm I'm standing out a little bit with the <laughs> accents from from conversations I hear yeah. around here. Yeah, it's sure. so. Right, man, just be safe, all right? Yeah, no problem. I you know this this looks pretty safe. I was thinking about hanging out at the Walmart parking lot, but it's kind of annoying. I wouldn't it, go up to the north one. Just no, no. The security up there. Oh. They, I don't know what's wrong with them. They well, super cops or something. So. Is it that? Or there's a lot of activity. Yesterday I was there, and somebody was getting chased by the cops. You probably heard it on the radio if you worked last night. You might have been the one chasing the guy. Some dude with a super loud car, loud motor. Just zoom. Uh, I was behind uh, Walmart. You were behind. Uh, it was. Uh, it wasn't in it was front of the Walmart. Broadway. It was Broadway. They went around Broadway. They went uh, north, oh, yeah. north to south. Yeah, we went north on Joplin, then came back on Broadway. So yeah. You know what I'm talking about? The yeah. the chase. Yeah. Some dude at the here. soup. Was it? Yeah, I was here. Yeah, super loud motor getting chased on Broadway, Some, and uh, and the cop was. Truck. Was it? Okay, I I didn't really see what it was, but. I was there. I was at the Walmart. They Watched went. It go by. Yeah. So the guy right did on. the guy get caught? No, he got away. Wow. But That's can't tough. Catch them all, so. No, but I mean, you could hear that guy. <laughs> it's allowed. I don't know if that was a reason for getting pulled over, I, um, but that was. <laughs> he was getting chased. I was like, wow. You know, and and there's a lot of crazy activity up at that North Walmart. They they need that security there. Because there's just a lot of crazy driving. I think it's because it's a coal town. Maybe it's attracted a certain class of, of people that are maybe in the gearhead gearheads or something. Uh, it's small a, town, man. People people like to tinker with their yeah, vehicles. So. Yeah, because the other park, there's a park, uh, you know, You've on the... you been hit a couple times? What's that? You've been hit a couple times, it looks like. Once, yeah. I was parked. Parked? And, and the guy hit me, and this is in Boise, Idaho in 2016, it's a while ago. Yeah, he's got 
had this dog forever then, huh? Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I've had it since 2008. I've had it. This is, this is a long time investment here. Yeah, it's it's uh it's cars. Yeah, I did get hit. I got disabled. Had to. I couldn't drive it. The the wheel was pushed up against the the hub. That's what it looked like. And and so I had to switch. I had to let out the air and and then pull that tire off, put on the spare, so I could drive it. And then and then I had to actually get get some kind of uh like piece repair like replaced. Yeah. So I could drive it again. And you know, it's not exactly perfect. But yeah, it was some guy driving a stolen car, and he just he hits me, <laughs> and I was it was late at night. I was I was uh, sleeping in my car on the side of the road, so he he uh, he, he was surprised that I was sitting that I came out of the car. Uh, he's like, you know. All right, well, I gotta get out of here, my man. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah, have a good one. They don't have bathrooms open at Ascension Via Christia, Christi because of COVID. They don't have bathrooms open because of COVID, yet Walmart can. All right, I'm just north of Joplin, Missouri. I haven't recorded this in a while. I've just been not interested in doing that, but I'll do it this time. Just record what's nearby. Bushwhacker Museum. Nathan Boone. And within a pretty good distance there's quite a few things of interest second battle of Springfield <clears throat> Hickok he was up in South Dakota <clears throat> they must have moved around Branson Marvel Cave there's quite a bit that I've never heard of Hmm. All right, come in here for the FedEx package. Oh my God! And I um, I'm wait, I'm waiting. Uh, or I wanted to go into the like to talk to somebody, but you, you can only talk to him on the doorbell. Oh, here comes somebody. I have 501 South Tyler Avenue. Change from that. I'm changing it to a FedEx, a FedEx address. Okay. It was, it's, it's. All right, so I changed it to this address. I think it was going to like FedEx Air or something like that. Is set with uh, set over Facebook with a representative for the wrong address, but maybe. But uh, that's I knew I needed to come to the, the the distribution center rather than try to do it over the over the internet because the internet is it's kind of bad. You got to go right to the source. So once again, people keep mowing chives down like they're gr regular grass. They just grow. They grow like regular grass. It's amazing. Patches of them up down this strip even in this park. In western Missouri. I don't know the, the expanse for chives, but I started seeing them in, in eastern, in mid, mid eastern Kansas and they're they're pretty good all right this this leaf is familiar and I'm picking it it's not red spotted it's got a reddish hue it's growing not so strongly around here but it's certainly it I think the top gives it away and it's slightly reddish there's a really weird plant I've never seen before and this is could I do anything with this I don't really see any leaves I don't really think it's a grass, okay. Um, uh, no smell, but that's a it's a new one. <sighs> I seriously need to learn what trucking is all about, especially with the brakes, because they seem to pop their brakes near me. 
a lot. Like, if they suspect I'm homeless or something, because one pop, popped his brakes, and I'm like, what What weird timing. There's, I don't see any reason that they needed to do that. People honk their horns when they think I'm, I might be sleeping in my car. It's it's rare, but it happens. But how do the how do the semi truck drivers pop their brakes to get that popping, that loud popping? All right, I like these grass clumps. They're kind of nice. I'm surprised the water just stays still here a lot, even in December. It's like I don't recall it really raining that seriously bad in the past few weeks. Yet there's still water sitting here. But I mean, the sign of the grass, the way it looks, I think a lot of water just sits here with this clumped grass. All right, I finally uh, developed a method to determine when this uh, teapot is full enough of water. And what I do is I just simply look down the, the thing and then I start to turn it and I see water's about to pour out right there. So it's clearly above the minimum line and even might it be too much above a little too much above the max fall it's 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 about there but it should it should be good somebody piled this bumpy fruit over here what is it i still have no idea but i mean i've come to the conclusion that it needs to be cooked although whatever wild animals are eating it they're just shredding it up piece by piece they shred it up, but they don't seem to really eat anything out of it. <clears throat> All right, I'm just gonna go through this, uh, this, what's in this pot, because it tastes chocolatey. It's a very good taste, very good chocolatey taste. It's pretty much empty. Let's just, I forget exactly what all I put in this. It's a lot of that dried leaf that, I, from the smaller version of the spotted leaf I liked. It's got a, it's got a nice, fresh, nice taste, nice smell to it. But I really like that chocolatey taste. Yeah, all I did was pick the dry leaf. It took a long time, I'll say that. It took a long time. I think, I, I suspect I, that I put a base of green, of green leaf, but I forget. But look at that, it's mostly this dry leaf okay yeah base of the green leaf i just like to have green on the bottom a lot a lot of times when i can do that so it was, okay like i suspected green base i picked hey i filled up four four teapots i got four now but i like this taste all right the chocolatey taste it dries right on the right on the stem it took some time to pick but uh, it's it's available. It's there. You just all you got to do is boil the that chocolate taste out of it This is why I got to get out and bicycle. I Had no idea this parking lot was here. There's there's not a lot of cars that pass by here and I'm sitting in a parking lot Where there's like a car every two seconds. I Just didn't know about this until I was able to bicycle over on my Newly repaired bicycle, just like new. That grass right there would be acceptable to pick, fill up my teapot, which I got in my bag. Except I don't know how I could pass this water, this, uh, oh, <laughs> well, if I wanted to take the train bridge, the trains are kind of active though. It's a little dangerous to cross on that. All right, the bicycle uh, chain falls off a lot, so I gotta walk a lot. I found some nice grass along. Oh, that's a white pine there. I think they're intentionally planted. I found this good grass, uh, the, the spotted grass. I have my. I like to. I, I like to get into the habit of bringing my teapot with me on uh, trips. Even I'm going to Walmart, but uh, I still, you know run into places like this. I want to take every opportunity I can. It's amazing how prices go up in grocery stores, but they stay the same price out in the wild. All right, I'm starting to get into mixing half dates with half prunes into the container and then uh, mixing it with the, whatever I can kind of find, wheat germ, 
or the flax seed that I have to crush mixing them together is pretty good so I don't because dates aren't dates aren't exactly cheap so I don't eat them too much at once it's mixed with prunes which I think are uh, maybe cheaper I, I, I have to actually look at that comparison again all right so I don't like how my heart's feeling I, I believe that the yogurt and milk do something to make my heartbeat feel like it's slipping so I bought another teapot my fifth teapot because all the other four are full of wild grass which I, I'm not gonna boil in this Walmart parking lot but I will boil this parsley I got two 88 cents each one curled parsley the other Italian I'm gonna boil these they don't taste really good so I'm gonna try carrots to sweeten it up and see how that maybe if I could find dill my dill seeds I got some left I could boil the dill seeds in with it that that would make it nice too actually so apparently this is route 66 taking it from Walmart into the downtown of Choplin I want to go stop at bicycle shops look for a chain tensioner and I'm taking route 66 down this is it straight down and there's little uh, elements there's little hints that it, it's route 66 advertising wise and also that one girl that acted crazy on the side of the road who's super skinny I think I understand why all right I was just at blues bicycle and they they said they had two and they recently sold out of these surly spring-loaded chain tensioners oh I'm gonna check the other bicycle shop Look at how plant, Planned Parenthood still taunt, or taunts the, the protesters. Still here. You can't drive us out. All right, so neither bicycle shop's got what I'm looking for. So I'm going to just go without. And the bicycle chain has not fallen off. <laughs> so I guess I can go maybe just uh, try to, to work with tightening it uh, manually. Uh, and then and, and, uh, take my time ordering something with a string. <clears throat> Downtown Joplin. There's no signs against bicycling. So they're not too busy then. They don't complain enough to cause them to, to uh, uh, complain about bicyclers. Two bicycle shops. Uh, the second one just started a couple months, less, less just over a month ago. taking a little exploratory walk from the Walmart past the museum approaching a golf course look at this fence it's all fallen down beat up they have this warning sign people need to stay off this golf course oh, they do have a lock <laughs> this fence is so beat up this is a big city pretty active I can't find any privacy where I'm at on route 66 so that's gonna be a factor unlike baseball fields in the southwest desert the outside green grass looks better than what's on the field All right, I just want to make note that I had this uh, chest discomfort, and I think it's a barama, bar, barometric, bar, bar, the barometer, the, the pressure, the air pressure increased, I think, 
the uh, temperature dropped, the rain came in, and I felt pressure in my chest. It was very uncomfortable. I think it's relieved now. It's, it feels better, but it, it came on kind of strong. And it's not like I could have just like exercised it out, which I think would have been my best option because it's like early in the morning. I was tired. I'm still tired laying here just trying to rest and the, the pressure came on in my chest. I, I think it's gas possibly, but if it's gas, I don't know. It's just strange. I, I, I've heard of barometric, barometric pressure or even divers. Divers have issues with their health. Some, some like what I, the the most interesting thing I heard was that if uh, you have uh, toothaches, if you have uh, cavities, you discover if you have cavities while diving. Uh, but this is outside, just in the environment. I'm I'm exposed. I have my windows down, and I the temp that got cold kind of quickly. It's been, it was warm all night. And then it got cold quickly this morning and rain came in. No wind. And I think I think there was a major barometric uh, pressure that happened, a, a drop. And I think that affected my chest. It's just it's very uncomfortable.